toward the front door. A little more toward the front door. There you go. Little more. Whoa. Well, half an inch or an inch, and you're good. That's it. Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're over here at the cabin. Uh, Wanda and I needed hot water at the cabin, but we didn't have any electricity over here, so we couldn't put in a conventional hot water tank. And we didn't want one of these big gas tanks that uh, mounts in the house or anything like that, because I don't like anything like that in the house. So we decided to go with the L10 Echo Temp, because we don't need a lot of hot water. We just need some when we're over here. And I don't need something that's sitting here with a tank holding hot water all the time with something running constantly. So this is a tankless hot water heater. It's made to mount outside in a well-ventilated area. Uh, it's actually portable. You can actually take it with you if you wanted to because it hooks up to liquid propane. Now, it originally in the box it shows hooking to one of the little 17-pound bottles, but I decided... I don't want to do that if it's going to be permanent at the cabin. So one and I went and bought the 100 pound LP bottle and had them fill it. Okay, and the bottle did not come with the uh, with this fitting right here. We uh, purchased it on Amazon. It's a fitting that has a gauge. It tells us the gas in it. Tells us how much gas is in it, whether it's empty, whether it's full, or you know how much we have left in the bottle. Uh, because we figure that we probably should. Uh, do the 100 pound bottle because we don't want to be constantly running to a, a station having it filled up. So that's the reason we went with this. Uh, the L10 Echo Temp comes with the pressure regulator and it comes with the hose. But it did not come with a fitting to hook into the tank here. So we had to order that off of Amazon. It says that the Echo Temp can be mounted onto the side of a building, but this is a wood-sided log cabin. And I did not want the gas against the wood because it is flammable. So I mounted a 4x4 out here away from it and mounted the Echo Temp uh, to the 4x4. And plus it's out away from the building and the vent and the fumes get out away from it a little bit better because I'm kind of picky about that kind of stuff. And I mounted a little bit of a bracket here to hold the hose because there's several feet of hose here rolled up and it kind of keeps everything looking neat and in place. Okay, what we have here is the water coming into it. I ran PEX, as you can see here. I have the blue PEX line right here running into it. And what I've done was I have a half inch ball valve on here, a PVC ball valve, because I like to, the opportunity to be able to cut the water off here if I need to. I can just flip this and if I need to do some work or something, I can do it and turn it back on. Now these heaters are so sensitive up on the inside that what I done was I ordered a water filter system to go in it here because I'm just a little bit picky about sometimes, uh, you know, trash can come through a line or something and it can get up into a, a, a up in here a piece of, a little piece of grid or anything can mess one of these tanks up. So I decided to put in a filter system before it gets into the tank up here. Because this thing is set to operate at between 10 and 50 pounds, I went and bought a pressure regulator and put on it. Because coming from the house, we're on a well, and I just wasn't sure how much water pressure was coming up into this thing. So I put this pressure gauge on here, and I went and I piped in, and I actually put a, 
a, a gauge that I could actually read rather than guessing at it with this. This comes preset at 45 from the factory. And we're running into some issues that when we turn the water on, this thing would ignite and it would run fine, but if I turn the water pressure up on the tank out here, the fire would go out. And I don't know why it would do that. Uh, maybe one of y'all might. You can leave some comments down below. I thought maybe the water pressure was too high. So I put this in there and turned the water pressure down. It doesn't seem to affect it one bit in the world. Uh, whether it's at 50 pounds or whether it's at 10 pounds, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. So I have to leave this on minimum. And I leave this on minimum because the water going into the cabin gets to be pretty hot. So with this on minimum and this on minimum, it's perfect. You turn the water faucet on in the house, as soon as you do, this thing ignites. And within seconds, we have hot water in the cabin. And it runs off of two D-cell batteries that go right here. This here, you make one turn. There's two D-cell batteries up in here. It's very simple to, to operate. That way we don't have to have any electricity over here at the off-grid cabin. And this thing works beautifully, guys. I mean, literally, we are able to have instant hot water at the off-grid cabin now. And um, the echo temp is working out good. Uh, I don't, the only thing I don't understand about it is why we can't you know, run the water on up more than what we do, but our water pressure in the cabin is fantastic. We don't have any problem with it turned down on minimum. The water pressure is still really strong in the cabin, so uh, it, maybe it's something inside the tank, I don't know, but this thing, I'm telling you, is working out really nice over here at the cabin for Wanda and I. When we're not here, we just turn the gas tank off. That way we don't have to worry about any gas leaking out or anything or getting used. If a water line was to bust or something like that, and, and the hot water wouldn't be just running constantly, so we leave the water, the gas turned off. We leave the water turned on unless it's winter time. Now I have all this wrapped. I've got to get some insulation and wrap the uh, regulator here. As soon as I get that wrapped, everything will be wrapped and we'll be good to go. And I don't think we'll have any problems with it whatsoever. So, well guys, we're excited over here at the cabin now. At least when we go to wash dishes now, I don't have to put a pot on the, on the gas stove outside and heat the water and put it in the sink and then by the time we do all that the sink's the cast iron it's cold and then it cools the water down. Now Ms. Wanda can just turn the faucet on. We got instant hot water in the cabin. She can wash the dishes. If we need to do any cleaning around the cabin now we've got hot water to clean with. If we need to wash our hands, if our hands are dirty we need hot water to clean our hands. We've got that. So this here has, a, has become a real blessing for us over at the off-grid cabin. So guys, I told Wanda, I said, you know, it's amazing when you sit down and stop and think about it. You can really live off-grid and, and make this thing work. It just takes some figuring out. We're so used to conventional lifestyle and the ways of conventional life that we forget that there are ways to do things. You know, I mean, that's the beauty of this. There's no electricity involved in this whatsoever. It's battery operated. The cabin's battery operated. I mean, everything over here is just, it's beautiful to know that we can do things without hook to the grid system. And I guess that's, that's the part that excites me the most. So guys, I hope that um, if there's any of you out there that's thinking about hot water in an off-grid situation, you're wondering, can I have hot water? And the answer is yes, you can do it without the use of electricity. It just takes water pressure of 10 to 50 pounds to make this thing work. And if you can come up with a solar pump, uh, you can do it. A gas bottle, that's all it takes. A little PV pump, uh, you can use one. You can, there's an there's a ICB tote right here. Um, you could, I could technically have run this out, run it through a filter, ran it into here, and put a little 12-volt pump on it, hooked it to a battery, would have done the same exact thing. So guys, it is very doable to live off-grid and have hot water. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.